Have you ever looked at top songs chart and wondered why some of them are at the top while there are other songs that are seemingly nowhere to be found? Well, we wondered the same thing and we wanted to explore this phenomenon using machine learning. Our project, predicting the next big hit using machine learning, aims to discover the correlation between popular songs and the various features that characterizes it. A hit song is defined as a recorded song or instrumental that became widely popular and appeared in top music chart rankings. Our problem is known as a classification problem, in which the model will simply classify each song as a hit or not. Using machine learning, we consider features of the song, such as who's the artist, or even musical features like how danceable or acoustic the song is to help determine whether a song will be a hit or a miss. With a dataset of songs and their features extracted from Spotify, lyrics extracted from the Genius API, and the list of year-end Billboard Top 100 songs from Wikipedia, we compiled a comprehensive dataset of songs with various features along with an indication of whether the song was in the top 100 list or not. This top 100 label allows us to perform what is called supervised learning, which is when the data is classified into known labels, a hit or not a hit for our case, and our model can learn what features could correspond to certain labels. We will be applying models we learn in class to figure out the next big hit. The basic idea is simple. Each model will learn some information and then apply it to determine whether a song is a hit or not. Our first model uses logistic regression to classify the song. Logistic regression is a classification technique that finds a conditional probability of whether the song is a hit or not based on the various features given into the model. For our problem, logistic regression will output 1 if the calculated probability for whether the song is in the top 100 is greater than 0.5 and 0 otherwise. Logistic regression also helps us figure out what features are significant contributors to the actual prediction. For example, we realised the artists matter a lot in deciding whether the song would be a hit or not, and the lyrics also improve our prediction by a significant margin. Our second model uses a support vector machine, or SVM in short. What SVM does is that it finds some hyperplane in n-dimensional space that is able to distinctly classify the data into two classes. The hyperplane acts as a decision boundary. When the data is on one side, it is a hit. If it is on the other, it is not a hit. Our third model uses neural network which are more complicated than our previous two models. A neural network consists of many layers of neurons that take in a vector of inputs and outputs a binary classification 1 or 0. Signals pass from the input layer to the output layer as the neurons communicate with each other. Since we will be using three models for our project, we need to compare them to figure out which model works the best for this problem. We will be using the F1 score, a measure of the model's accuracy and outrock an evaluation metric to determine how accurate each model is. An interesting project, isn't it? Now we have the means to predict the next big hit before it even becomes one.